Welcome back to Sip Tally Films. I'm your host, Coach Evans. And uh, if this is your first time here, make sure you uh, hit that like button. Uh, if you like what you see, subscribe and hit the bell so you can be notified when I drop these random videos. But upon watching the All-22 earlier today, I noticed the uh, Ravens ran two of my favorite concepts to start the game. The snag concept and the stick concept. And even though when they ran the stick concept on the second play, they ran, they handed the ball off. I uh, really just want to talk about those two plays and, and kind of show you why they're two of my favorite plays that I like to run on the high school level. Our uh, very first play, offensive play of the game, we're going to run the snag up front. And so with the snag concept, you need a little slant stop. You need a uh, maybe a corner or a deep go and then somebody in the flats. And really that slant stop is trying to work right around in this area right here. Then you have somebody in the flats trying to pull them. And really, this is your read guy. And if he takes your flat route, you kind of hit the slant stop. If he hooks the slant stop, you kind of throw the little whatever. If you have a bubble or a flat route, whatever it is, you throw that. And if for some reason they're in man and – this guy takes that, and he takes the other one. You try to hit your little corner route, whatever the deep route you have on it. Let's see how the Ravens did it. So now, Ricard's going to be your flat guy. That's the flat, the flat guy I was talking about. You're going to have a flat or a bubble or something like that. He's going to be your flat guy. Now you see, I think this is Bateman. In a way, I can't tell who this is. In the way I teach the guys, and I don't know if they teach it on this at this level, but you read this guy. If he widens to take that flat route, you nestle and sit right behind him. If he stays right down on you, you sit right beside him. And then when they throw the flat, you turn into the blocker. If he flies out of there right now to get the flat route, as soon as he crosses your face, you stop. That's how that's how I teach it. Then this guy, which I think is Sam, is going to run the corner route. See, playing off that guy. Playing off the guy we talked about. Now, he, flat, he went out there with the flat route, if I recall it. And Lamar threw it right behind him. Went with the flat route. Lamar threw it right behind his head. Wow, Ink Raven video pops up. <laughs> but again, reading this guy right here, if he's going to widen with that flat route when Ricard comes across, uh, I think that's Bateman. He's going to sit right behind him. And then, it's, you know, easy completion. Easy completion. He nails it right there inside of him. See that? So now, so now you got a two-on-one. You got two Ravens, one Brown, and he can't be right. If he stays here, you throw the flat route. If he comes down on the flat route, you throw that. All right, and this 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 um corner is protecting him because he can't just fly and take that because he'll know what he's gonna do. Because if he go inside, now he's stuck. So that corner is protecting the route. Simple read. I'm really, I'm really telling you, we run the same play, and I love it. It's one of my favorite plays. Ran right and red right, it's hard to stop. And that's the first play. That's the snag concept. Maybe we can get a, a, a Lamar view from the back. Oh, that's Duvernay. Okay, that's Duvernay running the corner. Sorry about that. That's Duvernay running the corner. Now right, look at Bateman sitting right there wide open because that guy chose to take that flat route. He chose to run to the flats with Ricard. It's too easy. That's too easy. I love this concept. Trust me. I love it. But it's that simple. Just read that that, that, that alley defender. Now, the stick concept. Now, even though they're going to run this ball, it's, you still get the stick concept. Now, in the stick concept, you need a go. You need a uh, a little hitch or however you want to. You can hitch outside. You can hitch inside. Then you still need somebody in the flats. And you're really, again, trying to isolate this dude. If he takes the flat, you, you throw the little hitch route right here. If he nestles on that hitch, you throw the out route. If for some reason they man it up and, you know, him him wide out here, you got the one-on-one -on -one ball that you can take because it's probably man. Let's see how they do it. Bring the guy in motion. So I'm going to assume Mark's going to the flats. Ball snap. Now, again, this guy's the read. For the pass concept, he's the read. They're actually going to run it. A lot of people run inside zone with the stick concept and I think that's what was done here but for the pass concept that guy's the read now with him widening to Mark had Lamar decided to keep this he would have had Hollywood right there so they're reading off this guy reading out of the fender and again this is another one of my favorite look how if we decide to throw that look how easy of a throw that is 
another reason why this is one of my favorite concepts. But we, a lot of people, a lot of coaches, high school and college, attach inside zone to this. And then, and, and I'm probably going. I'm gonna tell you who the read was on this. So this is probably uh, inside zone with a lock, with you know, uh, with the stick concept outside of it. This dude probably is the read. And when he widened out, they felt like they had the numbers in the box because they still got a tight end left, and they just ran the ball. By him moving out, they gave him the numbers to run the ball. So he was the read in the pass or the run. They got numbers. See, they got the numbers. They got numbers in the box. You got you got there, 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 there. And you got one-on-one -on -one right there. That's your numbers. Or, or now that I'm, now that I'm counting them up, Lamar could have misread this. He probably should have been the read. Because they, they, they outnumbered. With, with Andrews coming in motion, they now outnumber the Browns down here. You got one, two, and then we got Andrews, two, and three. So Lamar may have misread this. That, this guy in the middle probably should have been the read. And we probably should have threw this ball. Again, because look how open Hollywood is. With that, with that guy sitting in the box, look how open Hollywood is right there. That would have been an easy throw, especially after faking the, the inside zone. That would have been an easy throw right there. But, again, these two of my favorite concepts, and I saw that we ran them the very first two plays of the game, and I just wanted to you know, give you a breakdown of um, my beloved two plays. <laughs> and we call them something different, but general football knowledge is there, the snag concept and the stick concept. And um, I'll see you guys soon. Appreciate you for coming through. And uh, Coach Evans out. Peace.